Inside the walls of this little custom drapery shop in Westminster, the hum of sewing machines, the steam of a hot iron, <laughs> and a community of women united behind a cause. Here's to survivorship. These women are members of the Window Covering Association of America. They pick out outreach projects each year, and this year they're dedicating their talents toward helping breast cancer survivors. It's a fun thing to do, not too much sipping, more sewing than sipping, but it is a sip and sew. Simply put, Interiors designer Paula Henry figured out a way to put the leftover drapery fabric to good use after finding the bosom buddy design online. You can see that it does not require a lot of fabric. Working in stations, the ladies cut, fill, and sew the fabric into a pillow. It's a simple design that makes a world of difference for survivors like Lori Yates. Since surgery is often followed by painful nerve damage, Lori used her pillow as a buffer for her seatbelt when traveling to treatments. She also used it at night. I used it when I went to bed at night. I just put my pillow there under my arm and I, I just found it a very comforting and supportive thing to have. Paula hopes the spirit of comfort and support continues. If we can motivate some people to kind of follow our lead and really make this something um, powerful, that would be the cherry on top. Once the pillows are finished, they'll each get a pink ribbon at either end, and you can see they'll also have a tag that says Stitched with Love, WCAA, Maryland. And there is indeed a lot of love in this room. Each pillow will be distributed to breast cancer survivors around the area, including through organizations like Home in Maryland. In Westminster, Sarah Caldwell for 11 for the Cure.